it's Callum from Termos Chester and I'm back with some pipe tobacco reviews. I'm going to get straight to the important stuff this time and tell you about something we've been asked about a lot lately and that is what's happened to Dunhill tobaccos. A lot of you might have already heard that Dunhill tobacco unfortunately are going off the market. A lot of them have already gone, we do have the last few left uh, but it is very much a case of when they're gone they're gone so do check out the website if there's any that you're particularly into because you might be able to get yourself a last tip. However, fortunately all is not lost, uh, another brand has uh, picked up in their place and that is Sheraton. You might be familiar with Sheraton as a cigar manufacturer, a very good cigar manufacturer in my opinion but they've now taken on the challenge of making their own range of pipe tobacco that is inspired by Dunhill's range. So hopefully for every Dunhill tobacco that we're going to be missing, there will be a Sheraton tobacco to fill its place. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to work my way through the range of Sheraton and see how they match up against the Dunhill originals. So without further ado, I am starting with the Sheraton Rolls doesn't take a genius to figure out that these are the uh, interpretation of Dunhill's Deluxe Navy Rolls. And if I can show you there, we do have a classic medallion cut or coin cut tobacco, uh, which is made of African flu cured tobacco with a hint of Perique. And hopefully you'll be able to see there, these actually have a core of Black Cavendish, which is quite unusual. It's something uh, even the Dunhill Navy Rolls didn't do, so this is already a one-up for Sheraton. Uh, this just means that you can pop out the Black Cavendish and you can choose how much or how little you include in your overall run. Uh, as far as the blend goes, I've been really enjoying it so far. Uh, I had a bowl of it this morning. Uh, it was fine as a first tobacco, which is cool. Uh, but then I've had a few more across the day and even as the day's gone on and my palate's got a bit heavier, it's still been a really enjoyable tobacco. Uh, it's got almost a Virginia-esque quality, a really nice, ripe, rich, tangy, woody, slightly sweet taste from the African tobaccos with the Perique adding a little bit of spice in it. And then the Black Cavendish just gives it this mellow, creamy character just to rough out any sort of sharper, spicier edges. So all in all, it comes together very nicely. I was always a big fan of the uh, Navy Rolls, the original Navy Rolls, uh, so it's very sad to see they're going, but this I think will be a really nice alternative to make up for them. I definitely recommend trying them. Uh, if you do want to try them, they're available as always at termos.com. If you do try them, uh, let us know what you think. It's really good with new tobaccos like this to see what you all think. Uh, and if you like these videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you.